I am so, so, so fucking rough today. You have no idea how rough I am today. <laughs> I am... Um, maybe had one edible that was way too strong. So I'm a little bit... <laughs> so today I'm a bit... Oh, it's almost like a hangover. Almost like a hangover, but it feels horrible. I don't know how I'm going to get through this game, but I promised. I promised we would play this game, so... <laughs> Pray for me. Shares has a puffy ball head. Yeah, it's still cold here. It's still absolutely freezing here. The fucking lightning on this game. <laughs> I'm scared already. I know what to expect. I'm scared already. Right, let's just switch over. Hello, my beautiful husband. Look at all these legends in the chat, man. These are all just mwah, beautiful. Right, let's switch over, shall we? I did play this yesterday and as you can see I have my heart rate monitor on as well I'm already shitting it already already shitting it <clears throat> can everyone see the heart rate monitor because if not I can move it so that it's bigger I just need to take a couple of deep breaths and just calm, compose myself. It'll be fine. Uh, right. We're not going to start back from where we were yesterday. I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning and start from the beginning so you can all see it. Let's go. <laughs> I hope you've all had a fucking amazing Thursday night. I Never have seen this game, died. but judging from the my open scene, I dig it. I was sitting in a oh, locked bedroom like and could only listen. I'm a cummy face. That's why I feel like we this. Heard the you knife stabs until their screams stopped. The police decided that our parents were accidentally killed during the robbery. I never believed it. In our neighborhood, no one had any money, especially immigrants like us. Do, do, do. After a month in the orphanage, we were picked up by the only remaining relative in the States. A woman named Randolph. A Randolph. medium. Our grandmother. Our mom never talked about Randolph. her. And hid away her letters without opening them. I think that Mrs. Randolph thought that she cared about us. She taught us. I still remember rituals, prayers, and constant promises to reveal what happened to our parents? But later, it was always later. When will we be ready? My brother was the first one to escape. He joined the police force. I left it's her It's a hellish game. I'm not gonna I, lie. I, like my mother before, did not respond to her letters. They were just another promise to reveal some secret if I came back. When they stopped, I sighed with relief. Finally. A local lawyer visited us shortly after. Grandmother was killed. Stabbed with a knife. We have it's going up and we haven't even started. The voices of my parents <laughs> came back and I don't want to play this today. Our town is eating itself. Death comes for our people, for my friends. And I, I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. Grandmother was trying to understand what I was wrong. Like a pain, she tried to tell us. And I'm starting to believe her. She solved crimes. She helped the police to find the perpetrators. Did the butler do it? <laughs> I have to take her Don't place. Know. We'll find out. I have to go back to her house. No. Back to Grandma's house. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you for doing it. It's fine, CRL. <laughs> I'm shitting a brick. That's why my pulse is over 110. Because I know what to expect. I know what's coming. <laughs> 
and here we go again. Right. So, the law so far that I've figured out is we're in this house, which is his grandma's house. And we have to use divination. So, the likes of um, dowson rods, um, sacrificial, like candles and stuff. Like, almost witchy witchcraft. So, it was the milkman. <laughs> it might have been. Just sell the house and live happily ever after. Exactly, ghost wiener. Exactly. Why are we still here? Why do we have to stay in this house? Just move out. Sell it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. <laughs> so, your brother is a police officer who needs your help. We've got to help the coppers. Great. Every day he will send you a new crime case. Your goal is to solve it. So we're, we're, we're ghost paranormal fucking cold case solvers you can use divination rituals to uncover new clues once you find the culprit fill out the report and send it to your brother solve the test case to convince your brother to accept your help by the way you will unlock the second floor there has more tools to use tarot cards I want oh no but when I use tarot cards, I die. So we'll we'll open we'll light that again. Press tab to open the case file. So the story starts. <clears throat> Why did you come back? We've been watching this old woman go crazy throughout our childhood, and now you want to take our place? What the fuck are you doing, man? Oh, well, fine. Do you want me to help you? Then let's conduct a small test. Make an invocation in to the souls of the dead and tell me, oh great seer, which of the neighbourhood kids broke my window? So this is a test. I'll send you a description of them, just like the, old, the ones the old woman worked with. If you find out who did it, then we'll talk. One of them committed this terrible crime a couple of years ago. On December 14th at 1pm in 1902. So that's our clue, the time and the date of when the crime happened. I live on the first floor in an apartment at 2 Meadow Street, so that's the location. And don't even think about deceiving me. I know who did it. I just want to test you. So the clues are the time and date and the location, right? So then what we have to do is we have to go in the next room and light and incense which is our connection to the spirit world so we light that right then we have to go to the compass room but i'm gonna light these to make the connection stronger i'm assuming that's what it is right so this is the compass room this is all the locations of the, the surrounding area and we have to, first thing we have to do, make sure the ritual candle's lit. Done it. Who did, who did it? The bloody neighbour's kid. Yep. So we've lit the candle and we've got to put the person's dossier next to the map. So we select Patrick, right? And we instantly get brought out these dowson rods. We all know how Beardo feels about them, but never mind. So the time and the date was our clue. So it was one o'clock. So we'll change that. And it was on the 14th of December. So we change that to 12. Change that to 14. And the year was 1902. So we change that wrong way to 19. Auto. Now, what we've got to do is find where the kids were on the street. So you put the dossier there and you hover over the map. And when they touch like that and glow, that's the location of that child when the crime took place. So then you take the next one and you put Zachary's in. Will you shut up? Zachary was ooh, 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 number seven so 
we take another one. Harrison. Where were you, Harrison? Where was Harrison? Harrison was at 2 Meadow Street. So he's already suspicious. Andrew was at number 11. No, number 9. And Jake was at number 5 Bedford Road. So, the only person that's sus is Harrison, who was at the address that the window was broken at. So we found the culprit when you go to the hallway and fill out a report on the table. So we go back through here and fill out this report. So we're seeing that it's Harrison and if we click on his clue, he was at 2 Meadow Street. Send it away. Ta-da! <laughs> love this you've got it down well well the amount of times that i had to replay the the third one jesus fucking christ her methods are working who would have thought it well okay if you're so anxious to find out what's wrong with our town let's work it together sorry <laughs> gift from god so, this one, trigger warning, chat, just letting you know. Gift from God. I was allowed to take part in the preparation for a major court hearing on the outskirts of town at 18 Barnhill Street. Clue, location, send me location. Um, it was home for a closed and deeply religious family as it turned out they were too religious <laughs> oh we are not a cult we are not a cult earlier this year one of them was one of them murdered their youngest relative which is luke poor luke um as a sacrifice as well nothing like they didn't just feel a bit stabby <laughs> like they weren't just a bit stabby they sacrificed him bitches all of the fultons now cover the murderer but only one of them made the sacrifice i don't know who was in the house try using the dows and rods to find the murderer so we gotta solve the case of the little boy again light the candle back out the door that scares me so many times i get like a little internal <laughs> <laughs> so now we put Jake's dossier on that and it, the date of the death was 11 11 o'clock on the 8th of the 1st Yes, 8th of the 1st. On at 1904. So that's all correct. Right? So, we find where he was murdered. It was somewhere around here, 18. So that's where he was that's where he was killed. So we get Nathan. We put Nathan on here. That's the father. We find out where Nathan was. Where were you, Nathan? You were at home. Okay. Alicia. Alicia. Where were you? You were home. Yes, you were at home. Uh, Annabelle. We'll have a look at Mummy. Where is it, Grandma? Is it Grandma? Doesn't say. Could be. Could be Mum. She was home. God damn it. Where was Colin? Conrad, sorry. Where was Conrad? 
Don't know why I want to call him Colin. Oh, you are number four. So he was clear. He was nowhere near the 18 fucking Barn Hill Street. So it wasn't him because he wasn't there. So. We've hovered the, the divining rods over the map. And we've now got three suspects. I think it was three. Let's just double check that. One, two. Yes, three suspects. Now we have to find out a feature of the killer. So we need to use the rods and find the room marked with the dowsing rods on it. So this here, see this? That is dowsing rods, that's the symbol. Annabelle, she did it with a name like that. It must be her. I've got a cousin called Annabelle. She's only like 10. Right. Place the victim's case on a stand. So we put... We put little Luke there. Walk around the house. Crossing rods will indicate the direction of the object. Right. But... You hear that sound? That's like a clue to, f to so you know what it actually is, what the item is. So we gotta walk around. When we see the flame flash like this as well, we have to keep an eye on it because it means that the incense has gone out. So, say it's really low. So we need to relight it to keep the connection with the spirits. Right, what am I looking at? The clock? Yes, the clock. Right, so we're looking for the clock. So we need to go back to the Dowson Rod room, which is here. And see what a clock says. The murderer is 30 years old or older. Relight the stink stick when flashy. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> the stinky stick's nice. So if it's a clock, the murderer is 30 years old or older. So... We pencil that in and then I believe right those whispers mean there's a mirror uncovered and we have to cover it again because the spirits are getting angry so you click on that and it shuts them up it's great Right, so we're looking for his or Nathan Fulton's information. So we're going to go around until that sound gets louder. No. Sound's not getting older. Older, louder even. Ooh. It's not working. <gasps> A fuck you, bitch. Oh, yeah. Trigger warning, guys. I sway like a sailor. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Um, if the rods are starting to rotate, the ritual candle was extinguished. Okay, so the candle's gone out. All the way back. Oh, 
Leave me alone! Right. Candles relit. Check the suspect dossier. You'll get your answer when the... When... You'll get your answer with the older than 30 years. Right, okay. So if we go back to this room... Right, so we know it's not him. It wasn't Conrad. Annabelle. She's older than 30. She was home, so she's a suspect. Uh, Alicia, not older than 30, so she's not a suspect. So it's between Nathan and Annabelle. No. Nathan's 29. He's innocent. So it's got to have been Annabelle. Okay, so we'll go back to the hallway and send off our report. So we think it is Annabelle and she was home. And then we add the clue. Murderer is 30 years old or older. Send it away. Ta-da! <laughs> I heard something terrible today. Yep. You called it all right. She killed her own child. Sacrificed her own child. What a bitch. I heard something terrible today. I just heard a woman blaming her husband for not being able to kill his own grandson. <gasps> Annabelle had to do it herself to appease the voice of God. So she's one of these fucking brainwashed, like, spirit churchgoer people. Um, this case gave me an idea about the death of our grandmother. The strikes of different people should be different, right? I studied the autopsy results of our grandma and found a couple of oddities. <laughs> Proper model parent or what? Each stab was weaker than the previous one. And in the course of the struggle... Hey, Beardo, get scared! Hello, hello, broski! Doodle, stoodle, hey, sis. <laughs> Um, each stab was weaker than the previous one. In the course of the struggle, such a clear pattern is Im impossible. The direction of the blows also don't match up. They are too similar and weird. Knife strikes are aimed at the chest area and the blade was directed not upwards but downwards, but almost perpendicular to the body. Maybe she was killed in her sleep and the whole robbery was staged. If so, then someone was trying to disguise premeditated murder who wished her death I will try and find the last people she spoke to oh by the way Beato happy birthday to you <laughs> you can't ban me on my stream <laughs> right this one has two victims it's getting harder Oh. Tough lesson. Are you sure everything is all right? I know that at night you are busy helping me and during the day you try to open new rooms in the house. How's the game? I rage quit this on the train in Beato. I'm on day three. Easy, man. It's fucking easy. <coughs> um, but there is a limit to everything. Maybe your hallucinations with mirrors are just a reaction to lack of sleep. <laughs> bye have a beautiful time do me a favor and go to rest as soon as you finish this case a local school teacher died of a heart attack right in the middle of church this case would not interest us if the headmistress of the same school had not died of a heart attack in the exact same hour 
Do you want to know about another coincidence? The headmistress corresponded with our old woman for the last several years. Autopsy has shown that they were poisoned an hour before their death. So that's the clue. It was an hour before they died. So we need to send the killer's dossier, mark where the killer was during the poisoning. So we need to do, when, when we set the time and date, it has to be an hour beforehand. So, light the divination candle and off and we fucking go. This is the one with the thousand rods, right? Yes, this is the one with the thousand rods. So, Aaron. Aaron, 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 I don't know. So he was killed at, tw he died at one o'clock, but he was killed at 12. So we need to change that to 12. Um, the 28th of February. So we change that to that. Nineteen oh four. Right, so whereabouts were you killed? Let's find you. That one. That one. That one. Where were you? Okay, so we died in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Florence. Everything's the same. Dead. Okay. So now we find out where the rest of the the culprits were, the suspicious people. So we'll look at Tristan. Where was Tristan on the time of the death? Where were you, Tristan? 12? 10? 7? 7. Tristan was there. Diana was... Where were you, Diana? Were you the same house? You were the same house. Okay. Uh, Spencer. Where were you, Spencer? Were you home? Yes, you were home as well. This is going to be fucking great. Molly, where were you? Oh, you weren't home. You were there. Right. Okay. So now... We have to find his object, his thing. So we need to go over here and we need to put the victim's card on the stand. You hear that? So now we have to find it. No, 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 uh-uh, it's, it's a green dinosaur, fuck you, I'm going the wrong way, ha <laughs> ha, fuck you bitch, right, so it was a green toy, let's have a little look, so his was a green toy, toys, the colour of the toy shows the colour of the murderer's eyes, so the murderer's eyes were green. And then we change it to the other victim, Miss Florence. Whispers again. Go away, bitch. Go away. See ya. Right, I need to light that candle again. Where's it gone? This way. I love it. Age is dead. <laughs> so we relight that. Keep the spirits happy. Keep the connection. Let's find her fucking thing. Oh. <laughs> Bitch. Right. So that's clothing. Okay. Clothing. Oh, 
closing, 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 closing. So it's in this room. So clothing for hair. The colour of the clothes will tell you the colour of the hair. So it was a brown... It was a brown coat. Right. <coughs> so we need to go back. Yes, I just jumped, Beardo. Go back to here. Let's have a look at this. So Tristan, brown hair, green eyes. Brown hair, green eyes. Spencer. Brown hair, blue eyes. So it wasn't Spencer. And it wasn't Molly. So it's between Tristan and Diana. Doodle, are you cold? Yes, me heating's broke again. Heaton is broke. But there's only room for one of them. Okay, so we put that in. No. It's between them two, so how do I work out which one's which? Hi, Kerbo. Hi, Jolene. Right. That doesn't give you any more information. This game needs Dick's Bart. No, it doesn't. After yesterday's Dick's Bart, my head is rattling. Absolutely rattling. Right, where were you, Diana? You were home. Tristan, you were home. So it's between them two, because they have brown eyes, and they both have uh, green eyes and brown hair. So how do I work out the next bit? She'd never get a thing done if we had dig spot. No, I wouldn't. You don't need to expel when you've got this game. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, fuck off with your whisper. Oh, <laughs> why is there a thing? Put Aaron Kelly's in. We don't have an Aaron Kelly. Oh, we do. Aaron Kelly. What, in the dossier? No, it can't be the dossier. The killer has green eyes. The killer has brown eyes. Molly has got different colour. And wasn't home. He's got a different colour. So it's between them two. And they were both home. So how do I find out? I'm confused. Did they both do it? I'm confuddled. <laughs> this is what she was like when first Phasmo first came out, before she got used to it. Nah, I was always good at Phasmo, ask me, I don't. You got it yesterday. I know, but I can't remember how I got to that. You know what I mean? I can't remember how I got to that uh, statement. Oh, 
candle. Rods are silent. Molly? Rods are silent. So it's between them two. Why are the rods silent now? Did I guess yesterday? <laughs> Ask Biedo, he's a qualified demonologist. Yeah, Biedo, come on then. You should know. I want to know why the rods are silent. Doodle was always good at fires. I trained her. Oh, of course you did, Biedo. Of course you did. If it weren't for you, I'd be shit at fires more. Zoom in on their dossiers. I think there's a clue. In Tristan's. All right. Just redo this for a second. Fucking lightning, man. That's lit. That's lit. Uh, <laughs> no grumbles. Don't like you. You freak me out. Tristan is proud Irish, you often. <laughs> so he worked as a doctor. Worked as a science teacher. Okay. So if we change it to when they were found, which was one o'clock. Oh. I, I can't, I can't do the grandma shit. I can't. <laughs> Yeah, we know you're dead, dickhead. What about you? You still dead? Ah, uh, there's nothing there for you either. It's between them two. And he was home. So she's the headmistress of the school. So she's the one that's been ha whose husband's been having an affair with. Not her, Diana. Diana's husband. Diana's husband's been having an affair with the head teacher. So she's got motive. Mr. Kinna worked as a doctor when he arrived here. He managed to get a job as soon as a school janitor. He started a family in our town. Tristan is proud Irish. He often had... Leave me alone, bitch. <laughs> he often has problems with the locals. His son attended our local school in Mr. Kelly's class but stopped due to personal differences with other kids. I think that's his only part in the story and it's worth taking a closer look at. Fucking candles worn out. I, I don't even want to look at all the scary shit. I don't want to die. I don't want to cry. I don't want to get jump scared. I don't want nothing. The game can suck a bag of dicks. <laughs> I don't want to look up, look up at any banisters, any hallways, no nothing. So 
why are you now silent? You're silent for everyone? the toy yes you're still the toy it's all right it's all right I'll, I thank you Ciara I'm gonna try and figure this out I told you the milkman did it Nah, I don't think it I don't think it was the milkman Wait, is that the right room? Yes. Are you still the cupboard? You are on you. Okay. You're definitely still that and you're definitely still that. <laughs> So yours was green, yours was brown. Not that one. I'm just going to press loads of shit. <laughs> right, Tristan, Thousand Rods are silent. Diana, Thousand Rods are silent. Spencer, Handle, Dows and Rods are silent. Molly, Dows and Rods are silent. So now I'm fucking confused. It was one and least in the basement with that tip. The Ador! Fucking terrible, you. Where am I going again? <laughs> oh yes. Right, let's have a look at this. I know what you did differently, you got the time of death first before the actual time of death it eliminated Diana right uh -huh, that's right because I had that on there instead of there right so Diana when they died when they died Diana was at home when they were murdered Danielle was home Tristan, where were you when they were murdered? You were home. Where were you when they died? Home. <laughs> it doesn't help. What the fuck?
Does the game change all the time? Because if it doesn't, then I know who the killer was. <laughs> Diana at Rutland Road at 12. Did it? Nah, 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 fuck off. Fuck off, you spooky bitch. Diana was at Rutland Road at 12 o'clock. See it? See if she's there? Why is it so dark? Right, I'm just gonna say that it was the dude. I'm gonna say that it was Tristan. Cause he's a bit of a weirdo. You have the month wrong, it has to be one. Is that what I've done wrong? I have. What a dick. Right, Tristan, where were you at 12 o'clock? You were still home. Diana, where were you at 12 o'clock? Were you home? No, you weren't home. You were there. So it was Tristan. Right, okay. So we're gonna say it was Tristan. So it was Tristan. Um, the clue was green eyes, brown hair, and on the date of the murder, he was home. Yes! <laughs> Mr. Kinner told the investigator about how the school treated his son. The teacher did their best to make him quit the school. This Irish boy should know his place. Wow, racist as well as fucking trigger warnings. Holy shit. Oh, what the fuck? I'm not playing this in VR. Go away. <laughs> um... And other nonsense you'll hear in old families. It all ended with the teacher persuading other children to beat him up. It worked too well and now this boy will not be able to walk. Holy fuck. Mr. Kinner said that his son's future was taken away from him and he could hardly bear it. I won't say that I condone his decision but I understand him. The connection with that old woman turned out to be a dead end. It turned out that she was an act an active correspondence not only with the headmistress but with several professors throughout the country they discussed some scientific issues and I will study her letters and report the result later no Biado, no VR no 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 hmm. day three Sorry, I'm not my morbidly humorous self. Coffee hasn't kicked in yet. It's alright, Scottish pride. I feel fucking rough as shit. Yeah, you first, Piero. Come on. You first. <laughs> Do you know when I come down next, I'm bringing me VR. And you will play VR on stream. <laughs> no escape. Working disagreements. 
An old policeman asked us for help. Fuck me, there's loads of reading in this. He used to work with our grandma, but stopped after the police cut all ties with her. If we help him, he will tell us why. <laughs> tell me why! Sorry. The <laughs> this interested me, so I decided to agree. The case itself is solved. Mr. Bones, a sailor, dismissed from the Navy, quarrelled with his new employer over money and killed him during a scuffle. He threw the body into the basement of some abandoned house. Bones' confession is already on my desk. The problem is that the murder took place at night and Bones was drunk. If I had VR, I'd rambo the shit out of these games. No fear, for I'm not scared of nothing. Viado, don't lie to yourself. Stop lying to us. Um, so the murder took place at night and he was drunk. So he has absolutely no memory in which the cellar, in which cellar the body lies. The relatives of the murdered man asked to find the body for a burial. Determine the hour of death and find where the victim and Mr. Bones were at the time of the murder. If you succeed, this cop will tell us something new about our old woman. Determine the location of the victim at the hour of the death and determine the location of the suspect at the hour of the death. Holy fuck. Right. The Wheel of Thanatos will help you find out the exact time of death. It's located on the first floor. Have I not got to do that yet? Oh, motion sickness. Making me feel ill. This ain't scary. This is book reading simulator. Fuck off, Piedo. You couldn't even do a jigsaw puzzle. Right. No, I don't want you to close. I want you to stay open. I keep thinking you're lighting up a ciggy. No, I don't smoke anymore. Alright, after work, bye. Take care, Kerbo. Have fun. Make sure the ritual candle's lit. Done. Put the victim's dossier on the stand. Done. Determine the zodiac sign. Oh, fuck me. Here we go. Determine the zodiac sign of the victim by using the table on the next page. Right, so he was born July 11th. I hate this American wrong way around shit. July 11th, 1860. July 11th. So he's a cancer sign. Right? Turn the wheel of the Natos so the black arrow points to the zodiac sign of the person. Right, so he's a cancer. Identify the key letter of the first name. It depends on the element as described on the next page. Uh, he's a cancer, so that's a water sign. So it's the last letter of the name. The last letter of his first name. Aaron, so N. No, 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 shut up. Right, so he's cancer, which is water, which is the last letter of his name, which is N. Open the Chaldean ta table on the next page. Determine the key number for the letter of the name. Right, so he's, the last letter was N which is five yes last letter of the name 
10, which is 5. Turn the wheel of the Natos so the red arrow points to the key number of the name. So turn that to 5. Ooh, do ghosties come out of the mirror? No, but there's always a grandma stood in it and it fucking freaks us out. Identify the key letter of the last name. It depends on the element as described on the next page. Last name. And he's a water sign. So if the surname has identical letters, then the key letter of the surname is the last one. If not, then it's the first one. Right, my little candle's gone out. Hang on. This is a head fuck. Yep. Yes, it is. There is so much thinking involved for only 8am. Tell us about it. Surname means last name, so no double letters. Yeah, his last name Sharp. So. If the surname has identical letters and the key letter is the, in the surname is the last one. If not, then it's the first one. So it's S, which is three. And three is the blue arrow. Blue arrow. Three. Right. The sun icon means that the death happened in the morning. The moon icon shows that it happened in the evening. So you'll need to add 12 hours to the hour of the wheel. Okay. So is a moon. Ugh. So it's 12 hours, so that's got to be on 12 midnight, so it'll be 24. The day is 2. The month is 1. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, shit! Cover it! Cover it! <laughs> oh. No. No, no, no. This game is not nice. When did he die? 18, 1904. Right. So now I have to find the location of, right, okay, so now I have to go to the the rod room. <laughs> the room of rods. Not this one. The area rod room. <laughs> Fuck, what time was it? Twelve o'clock at night on the second of the first. Twelve o'clock at night on the second of the first. Twelve o'clock at night on the second of the first. Twelve o'clock at night on the second of the first. Where do I go? This way? No. Not this way. Twelve o'clock at night. Twelve o'clock at night. I'll redo this while I'm here. The time was 12 o'clock at night, so 24. Uh, January 2nd. So day is two, month is one. Yeah, two, one. 
1904. Right, so where was your body dumped? Six. Okay. The location of the suspect. Yeah, that's right, Colin. The sixth as well. Okay. So now I can go and fill in my report, yeah? So it's... That and that. <laughs> Let's go! We checked the place you indicated and found the body. So our new friend agrees to tell us about his work with our grandma. Thank you, CRL. It's actually really fun. I mean, so far. Um, previously, she was often approached by local officers and she helped them without any charge. It's all ended because of the, of the last case. She's found for them one particularly brutal gang, but they were released because of the personal order of Judge Brooks. The next day, all 12 criminals shot themselves. What the fuck? They say the last of them was muttering something before his death. It was something about the voice of God calling them from beyond. The police didn't work with our grandma after that. Okay. I predict it was the one-armed man. <laughs> Oh, holy fuck, man. What the fuck? <coughs> the whole city knows about this case. In 1882, smugglers on a run from the Rangers hid in a house on the outskirts of town at one Southway Road location and killed a local shepherd and his family. The case was closed many years ago. Now part of that gang has decided to move back to our town. I've already found them, and I know that almost all members of the gang were involved in that case. I don't need your help to find the guilty on the opposite. Send me the names of those who were not in that house in, 19, in 1882 on the day of the murder. They will go to jail. The rest of them will meet the gallows. <gasps> we're going to kill some people. Okay, so light that, and back to the compass room. I am predicting back to the compass room. Put that on there. Or have we got to find the time of death as well? we don't have in time so we've got to go back to the fucking the, the wheel thing to find the time of the death to put it in that fuck me this is way too much thinking on a fucking Friday afternoon man right Zachary when's your birthday 29th of May 29th of May. So you're a Gemini. Gemini is an air sign. The third letter of the name or the first of the name is if it's less than three letters. Well, it doesn't. So the third letter of the name. Nah. Nah. C, so it's three. Oh, hang on, I've got to move that to Gemini. What? What's the symbol for Gemini? What the fuck's the symbol for Gemini?
Is that the... No, it is. That's the symbol for Gemini. Okay. Hey, J. Smith. Don't worry about being late. Jesus Christ. I was late. Uh, determine the zodiac. Right, I've done that. Uh, identify the key letter of the first name. So his name was Zachary, which was C, because it's an A sign, which is three. So this one's the red, uh, red arrow. So the red arrow goes to three. Uh, no, 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 no. Fuck you. Get back covered now, bitch. Motherfucker. Right, so his name was Zachary, which was three. Um, which is there. Um, identify the key letter of the last name. It depends on the element described on the next page. So his last name is Harrison. Harrison. Um, he's an air sign. There are more than five letters in the surname, then the key letter of the surname is the fifth one. If not, it's the last one. So it's I or N. I or N. We'll do I first, which is one. We'll turn that to one. So he died at four o'clock in the afternoon. on the 20th ah but his death was fuck <laughs> this way no it's not this way this way God, you don't get much time to figure it out, do you? Right. Back to the wheel. See, he died on... No, that's his date of birth, man. What a dick. Right. So it's the 20th day of the 11th month eighteen eighty-two. yes that's right okay so 16 2011 16 2011 16 2011 <laughs> so sixteen. Oh no 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 you don't get back over now. Twenty eleven so two zero at eighteen eighty two. Eighteen eighty-two. Right. So where were you when you died? Let's have a look. One Southway Road. Right. So where were you? Uh Edward, were you on one? Yep, you were there. Jamie, were you there? Yes, you were there. Jackson Burns. Oh, Jackson's innocent. Where was Jackson? He was out of town. I can't place a thing, but he was out of town. Dexter, where, were you out of town? What the fuck does that mean? I'm 
not even looking. You were out of town as well. So it was Julio and Jackson was out of town. Julio and Jackson. Julio and Jackson. Julio and Jackson. Um, them two. Yes! Come on, motherfucker! <laughs> well done. We will visit them tonight still. It's strange that they came back here after so many years and take, to, and take the risk of being executed. They're not the, the only ones, though. We've already arrested several wanted criminals who suddenly just showed up in our town. The new judge is tired of signing death sentence to, sentences. Excuse me. It seems to me that we began to attract all kinds of madmen. Let's fucking go! I've got this in the bag! Let's go! Is my heart rate still working? Yeah, it is. Oh, this is so scary. I couldn't understand all of these terms and formulas. From her letter, so I under so I asked a local professor to help. It turns out that in his youth, he studied with our old with our old woman at the university. She had a science degree. Who would have thought it? Unfortunately, the gentleman's family suffered a tragedy. His granddaughter was killed. She and her fellow students threw a three-day party at Six Barnhill Street, location Six Barnhill Street. After walking away from the hangover, they found her already cold body. I think this is when the tarot cards come in. Oh, man. <sighs> the murder took place in October 1904, but we do not know the exact date. I saw how our grandmother was able to establish a connection between the killer and the victim using tarot cards. If you repeat this ritual... And find the killer. The professor will help us with letters. Send the killer's dossier. Mark and send where he was. Where he was at the hour of the murder. Send the result of the victim's tarot reading. Right, so I've got to go up to the tarot cards now. Located on the second floor. Okay. Now I'll go up the stairs. Fuck me. Ah. Taro? Is this Taro? Yes. The Taro card will reveal the connection between the victim and its killer. They are located on the second floor. Right, so. Make sure that the ritual candle is lit. Put the victim's dossier on the stand. That one. Shuffle the deck until its images shine with light. Start opening the cards one by one. Watch out for the death card. If you see it, do not open further. Shuffle again and start from the beginning. Keep opening cards until you'll draw the justice. Open and memorise one final card after that. Find out the meaning of the card and mark the connection between the victim and the killer on the nearby list. This one here. Right, so you got to shuffle. Justice. <laughs> Keep opening cards, cards until you draw the justice. Open and memorize one final card after that. Okay. So one final card after the justice card. The tower. The murderer is part of the family. Right. So... Murderer is part of the family. Right. 
So that's it. So now have we got to go and use the wheel to find out? Help? I don't like it. What am I supposed to be doing? Can I crouch? <laughs> I can't hide. Oh, okay. So back downstairs. Oh. Get you covered back over, bitch. I think I'll find the wheel. Use the wheel. So it's a member of... <laughs> a member of the family. Oh, By the way, there are two mirrors upstairs. How the fuck do you know when they're not going to go out? Ridiculous. So how do you know when their mirrors are going to fuck off? That's a bit fucking shocking. September 24th. Nah. Nope. Go away. Not listening to you. September 24th. You're a Libra, which means you are a Libra. Libra is, 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 is the line with the squiggly bump. So you are a Libra, which is a there. Um, the key letter of the first name first name is Rebecca Rebecca Dean she is a A sign so it's the third letter of her name or the first if the name has less well it doesn't have less than three so it's the third letter so B and B is two so the red one shut up not listening to you the red one goes to two, the blue one, so it's just an A. If there are more than five letters in the surname, then the key letter of the surname is the fifth one, if not it's the last one. I'm going to go with the last one and just see what happens. I, will, I don't want to like trial and error it. You were there, weren't you? I think. Why can't this shift work any faster? Where is it? Ooh. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Where was I? Dean. We 
which is five. So you're there. Right, so it's eight o'clock at night on the sixth day. Is that a six or a nine? Nine. Nine spawns. Nineteen oh four. What have I done wrong? That is the victim, isn't it? Yes. So if it's not the last one, right, the last one would be N, which is five. That's for the blue arrow. Blue arrow's on five. She was a Libra, which is an A sign. The third letter of the name, or the first. Or the first if the name has less than three, less than three letters. So the third letter is B, which is two. That's why I've done that wrong. That's gotta be there. So it's two o'clock. Shit. Upstairs. Eh? Where's the mirror? Oh, yeah. No, no, fuck you, bitch. Fuck off. Leave me alone. Oh, fuck off. I've just come all the way back, man. No. That's right. Okay, 14, 5, 10. 14, 5, 10. 14, 5, 10. 14, 5, 10. 14, 5, 10. 14, 5, 10. 14, 5, 10. 14, 5, 10. Book Nana. Nana can go and suck a bag of dicks. Right, so that was on the first. Where were you, Sienna? Were you home? You were not home. You were there. Jacob, where were you? Were you there? No. You were there. Uh, Alan, where was Alan? Alan! Alan! Ow! Alan! You were there. Mark and send 
where the killer was the hour of the murder. So it's someone who's part of the family, so it's got to have Dean in it. So it's between... Durham Road, Durham Road. Well, none of them were at Durham Road. Upstairs, that's upstairs. <laughs> no, no, Rebecca Dean is the victim. So, someone with Dean in the last name just have to mark and send where the killer was. But we don't know who the color of the killer was, do we? So it's got to be Selena or Dean. Selena was there. But Rebecca died there. And Jacob was here. So we don't know who the killer was. Them two were at the house. So if we do the, we do this, get some more clues, put your thing there. Oh, the candles are silent. The sticks are silent. Fifth of October. I've got that the wrong way around. Right, Rebecca, where were you? You were there. Selena. So Selena's a bit um, suspicious. So it's got to be Selena then. It's got to be Selena. Because Selena was home.
Hey, Maggie. Yes, we got it right. Let's go. <laughs> I put a little pressure on her during the interrogation and she began to sing. I thought that she did it out of jealousy, but there was something else. Only during the interrogation she mentioned where she heard about the betrayal of her groom and her sister in, her, in a dream. This professor lost his second granddaughter. I personally came to arrest her and yet he kept his word. During the university years, our grandma came up with an insane theory of what she called consciousness transmission. Thank you for the party! This is the assumption that thoughts and feelings live in some kind of invisible field that can affect people. Judging by her last letters, in recent years she has come to the conclusion that even the thoughts of deceased people can admit, can emit these residual waves. If I didn't know that your fortune telling works, I would consider these records to be absolute nonsense. Maybe the professor's granddaughter heard something from beyond. Ooh. Day six. How many days is there? I'm fucking terrified, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> There's so many. Holy fuck. Why is there so, so many? Street justice. This time I sent you an example of a crime that no one wants to solve. One couple terrorised residents of a small neighbourhood. They carried out armed robberies and intimidated witnesses. The locals couldn't do anything about it because the girl's father is, let's say, is quite an influential person. It all ended badly. The couple was killed. Amelia at the end of 1903 near the house at 7 Gloa Street. Lucas in September 1904 in a local shop at 4 Gloa Street. Experts say that they were shot from the same revolver. The locals refused to testify. Maybe they deserved it. But if we don't arrest the culprit, they, their friends will come to the neighbourhood and we will have a, a lot more victims on our hands. Send the killer's dossier. Send where he was at the hour of the first murder. Send where he was at the hour of the second murder. And send the result of the victim's tarot reading. So we've got to do two tarot. Rough. Two tarot. One for Amelia and one for Lucas. Right, so shuffle the deck until its images shine with light. Right. Let me pull a card out. The High Priestess. Justice. Right, so the last, the one after Justice. Judgment. Judgment. The murderer seeks justice. So the murderer seeks justice. So we now need to go to the wheel and then the map. So the wheel, which is over here, put her card in there. 13th of August. 13th of August. Leo, which is fire. Leo. 
Leo. Sign for Leo is the. Okay. So the sign for Leo is there. Um, it's by a sign, so it's the first letter of the name, which is A, which is Amelia, which is one. So the red, the red arrow goes to one. I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> the blue arrow, which is the last name. If the surname has identical letters, then the key of the surname is the first one. Fuck off. Oh, you're upstairs. Where's the stairs? I wish this bitch would run faster. I'm not looking at the mirror. I'm not looking at it. I'm not looking at it. Nope. Keep crying, bitch. I don't care. Nope. Right. Walker. If the surname has identical letters, then, then the key letter of the surname is the first one. If not, it's the last one. So the last letter of Walker is R, which is two. So the blue... Yes, that's right. Okay, so. Oh, the fucking candle's going out. Candle is lit. So it was one o'clock in the afternoon. It was 13. It was the 28th day. And it was the first month. And she was killed 1903. Right. So have we now got to do Lucas? Or do we... So she's the first murder. The second one. Oh, you've got to do his tarot cards, haven't you? We'll do his tarot. Fuck off. Right, so we'll, we can't take his out. I can't put Lucas's in there. Finish her first. Okay. Where the fuck's this one? Downstairs. I'm gonna die! <laughs> Hate this grandma bitch with a passion. <laughs> oh, 
fucking granny bitch. I hate you so much. Right, we'll do her. Same as before. Right, shape them. And then pull a card out. The moon. The world. These are actually like real tarot cards. Justice. Okay, so the last one after justice. Judgment. So it's the same. The murderer seeks justice. So to the wheel with me. Oh, but she knitted you a nice scarf last year. I couldn't give a fuck. She can keep the scarf. No problem, Maggie. August 13th. See your Leo still. That's good. It's good that they never change. So Leo. Your red one is first letter of the name, which is one. And I believe that that one went to two. Yep. So it's one o'clock on the 28th, on the first month, 1903. Yes, yes, right. Right, so now to the map. So our time of death was at one o'clock. January the 28th nineteen oh three. Let's put her in there. Right, Amelia, where were you? Please help us because I don't want Granny to kill us again. You're seven. Okay. Get up, bitch. Right, so... Do we have Lucas's? No. Right, so where were you? At this time. Oh, okay. You were where Amelia was then. Go back and light the fucking thing. so fucking scared <laughs> right so you were at number seven uh eve where were you were you at seven yes you were the fucking oh, so thomas were you at seven no you weren't you were at 12 matthew were you at seven yes you were jerry where were you you were at seven. Oh. So you are fighting, but you don't know why. That's jealousy because of your boyfriend. Right, so hang on. 13 1 2 8 13 1 2 8 13 1 2 8 13 1 2 8 13 1 2 8 
it's just not gonna tell me anything. Cause they were all, they were at seven. They were at number seven. Thomas wasn't. Matthew was. And Jerry was. So the only person that wasn't was Thomas. I'm gonna die again. Where's the stairs? Try the wheel for the other victim. Shall, should we try the the tarot cards for him? No, I still can't take her card off there. So, what the fuck? Try the wheel for the other victim. Okay. So we'll put Lucas in. Just, I only just lived. Right, October 5th. October 5th, you were a Libra. Yes, you were a Libra. Which is that one. Which is an air sign. The third letter of the name or the first if the name has three names. Right, okay. So the third, which is C, which is three. So red to three. And blue is a uh, more than five letters in the surname, then the key of the surname is the fifth one. If not, it's the last. Walk out one, two, three, four, five. So it's R. No. So more than five letters in the surname, then the key letter of the surname is the fifth one. So it's E, which is five. Fucking candle. Mind the like making this fucking hard for you, like, didn't they? Right, so it was eight at night. On the sixth, sixth day. So proud <laughs> of the ninth month, nineteen oh four. Yes, right. So twenty six nine, twenty six nine, twenty six nine, twenty six nine. Oh, is that upstairs again? Fuck! Twenty-six nine, twenty-six nine. Oh. <laughs> uh. A 
is that um, the way you do it or the way I do it, CRL? My way, okay. Thomas, you were there. Matthew, you were there. Jerry, you were there. And where did Lucas die? There. What the fuck? Right. So you were there. You were there. You were there. You weren't. You were. No, 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 no banging. Fuck off. Right, so you were there. a look at me me notes right so Lucas send where he was at the hour of the first murder And then send where he was the hour of the second murder. Just give her a security blanket and she'll think she this right. She'll go back to sleep. She doesn't. She's a bitch. This grandma's Megan. Maybe you can do Lucas's tarot. Okay. We'll put another thing on. And then we'll go and try and do Lucas's tarot. Nah, it still won't let us do it. Try and pick up the cards. And reshuffle the deck. Okay. Ah, okay. Now I can do it. Thank you. Star. Judgment. But I need justice. Come on. Give me justice. Thank you. Last card. The Emperor. Uh, the Emperor. The killer is a man. Okay. The killer is a man. Right. The killer is a man. <laughs> Fuck off, Grandma. Right, so the killer is a man. Or Lucas.
So it's got to be Thomas or Matthew. So Thomas was at four. Matthew wasn't. Jerry was. Right, so Amelia. What was Amelia's again? One o'clock. One o'clock, one o'clock. So 13. Was it night time? Yes. 28, 1, 30. 28, 1, 30. So that goes to 1. that 28? Yes, 28, 1, 30, 19 or 3. Take that down. So who killed you? So the killer is a man, so it'll not be you. So Thomas, where were you? You were 12. Where did Amelia die? 7. Matthew, you were there. Jerry, you were there. So it was so it's, it's Matthew then. <laughs> Fucking bitch! Fuck off, Grandma! So it was Matthew, the murderer seeks justice. Right, hang on. Send the killer's dossier. Done. Send where he was the hour of the first murder. The hour of the first murder, he was at the address. Send where he was the hour of the second murder, he was at the address. Lucas died. Where did Lucas die? That one? We'll just put that in. No! So it wasn't Matthew. I've got to do all that again. Holy fucking shit balls, Batman. Amelia. Justice. Judgment. So it's the same. Medra seeks justice. Emperor, the killer is a man. Right, so put all them back. So that's that done. So now to the wheel.
Where am I going? The wheels over here. So, Amelia. August, you were a Libra. No, you weren't. You were a Leo. August 13th. Yes. So, Leo, Lion, hey. Um, so it's the first letter, which is A, which is one. Amelia Walker, which is Have I done this wrong? <laughs> August 13th Fire Leo The first letter of the Upstairs, upstairs, upstairs Last letter R. So two. So it was one because it's got a moon on it. D was twenty eight. Month was one nineteen oh three. What? There we go. I really like this fucking candle. my fire your love is my only desire fuck off grandma you scare me once you can't scare me twice where the fuck am I going fuck off grandma Right, so 13, 28, 1. 13, 28, 1. Lucas, let's have a look at yours. You were you were the Libra. Because you are 5th of October. So you're a Libra. Which is, I don't know the symbol for Libra. A line with the bubble. Line with the bubble. Hey, mad killer. How are you doing? third letter of the name of the first if it's less than three well it's not so it's C C is three so the red one is three um Here's the sixth. It's the ninth month. Right. So that's them two done. Good. Upstairs, 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 upstairs. Why won't this bitch run? <laughs> Why won't you run? <laughs> I'd rather play that fucking climbing game. Why is this so difficult?
You've got no sprint at all. Judgment, that's the same. Person seeks justice. And then I'm just looking for a quality chat time house. Cool. Fuck off. Nana can go and suck a bag of dicks. Justice. <laughs> First one, Amelia. No, have I done the wheel? No, I've just done the tarot card. Tarot card. <sighs> she was killed with her own gun. your reveal so that goes round to that um, A is one and then it's is it A remember what I put. Is it R? So it's two. That seems about right. Yeah. So it's one. Twenty-eight. One. Four, three. Right. Take hers off, put his on. He was a Libra, so that needs to go to that sign. A uh, red arrow, a Libra is third letter of the name, which is C, which is three, so the red one goes to three, and the last one is water Sense on. Now I need to go to the map room. Right. <laughs> I 
13th hour. 1.28. Put her in. Amelia. 7. Harper. 7. Thomas, you weren't there, you were around here somewhere. There. Matthew. <laughs> Matthew was there. Jerry. Jerry was there. Right. Lucas. What was Lucas's again? Lucas's was, the t was 20. Four, six, nine, and then all four. Right, you were killed there. Papa, oh, where were you? You were there. Evie, you were there. Thomas, you were there. Matthew, you weren't there. Matthew was there. Jerry. Jerry was there. So it's Jerry. Because the killer was a man. No, no. Thomas. Thomas was there. Right, so what about Amelia? Amelia's was... 13... 28 28 1 Turn that down Right, so Amelia, where did you die? 7, so was Thomas there? Hey, Jerry, was Jerry there? Yes, he was uh, Was that the grandma? No, no I don't like the grandma stood behind us so I'm going to say it was Jerry, right? We know it's not Matthew. Send where he was at the hour of the first murder. So Jerry, the hour of the first murder, was in the location. Where he was, the second murder. He was in the location. Send the result of the victim's tarot reading. Which one do I send? We'll try Amelia's this time. No! <laughs> so we know it's Jerry. We just didn't need to put in thingies um tarot card instead right okay so it's definitely jerry because that was green the only thing that was wrong was amelia you think it's lucas yeah that's what i'm saying but jerry was the murderer we've just got to put lucas's stuff in it's i think it's because there's a a delay on the on the thing right so we need to do the tarot just so we have that as evidence and then we can fuck off. So we do Amelia. Shuffle the cards. Hurry up. Yep. Do that. Do that. Come on. Empress. Justice. Come on. Right, so judgment. And judgment was the murderer seeks justice. Which is that one. 
I know. I did the wrong one, CRL. I'm sorry. Shit. I used the wrong one. There we go. So, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Fuck off, Grandma. Fuck off, Grandma. Fuck off. The Emperor. Killer is a man. There you go. Bish, bash, bosh. Done. Downstairs. You've got to put the map details in for Jerry as... Oh, fuck! As well as... Got to put the map details for Jerry or as well so the dates. I just want to put it in and leave! Right, so Amelia was the 13. Because she was all three. First, and it was 28. Fuck Nana. Thank you, darling. I saw seven. Uh, we'll just put Jerry's in. I don't even care. I'm just going to put Jerry's in. Lucas. Lucas's was 20. And then oh nine. And then oh six. Then that one. Fuck. Fuck me, man. Fuck off. And we know he's dead, man. Uh, Jerry. Jerry, where were you? Where did you die? Where did you do it? The 16th. Oh, shit. Change the hour. What an idiot. Lucas, where did you die? Come on. Lucas died there. And Jerry, you were there. Right, so now I can just go and send it. And I should be good. So, we're going to say that it was Jerry. The killer is a man. And he was in both locations at the same time. So, Amelia's... He was there. And for Lucas, they said, Yes, we got the holy fucking shit balls, Batman. Oh. I have never ever 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 played a game this stressful in my entire life ever 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 <laughs> first try yep First try, that's what it was. A murder weapon was found in Mr. Hancock's house. I believe that he did not act alone, but he refuses to name any accomplices. During the interrogation, he almost immediately confessed and said that he was haunted by thoughts of their murder. This thought didn't didn't end even with the death of the walkers. Now he dreams about other murders. This cannot be a coincidence. 
All killers mention strange dreams and voices. It seems that among the dead hides the one who can control the living. It's good that there is one among us who is able to control the dead. Is it you who can control them and not vice versa, right? We shall see. We shall fucking see. Day seven. <laughs> How many days? CRL. How many days have you signed me up for here? How many days have I got to do? <laughs> I'm scared. Right. Never mind. You fucking spooky bitches. Stop it. <laughs> Rags to riches. There must be an explanation of why you are starting to see her more often. Maybe it's because you are using more of her rituals and they are making contact easier. I think seven, but not sure. So this should be the last one, yeah? There better be. But why does she hunt, hunt you if she herself left you all these instructions? I know it's hard for you, but we have to keep going. You saw the last case. Those who hear the voices... Those who hear the voice cannot stop after one murder. Someone has to catch the guilty, otherwise we will face even more deaths. Over the past couple of months, screams and sounds of fighting became a common thing. Such such a fight recently happened on the outskirts. We have found a body in the in a homeless camp at Southway Road, number one. So a location. He talked to the informant and identified five suspects who could have been there at the time of the death. 1904, early September. The problem is that they can hide anywhere. Nope, just looked. It's lots more. And there's new visitors. CRL, you told me there was only five. Eh, uh, seven. We've been gone two and a half hours and I'm only on seven. Seven. <laughs> I don't need to find all people from there just the killer send me the name of the killer and where he is today on the 30th of November there's 13 days oh, CRL I used to like you Right, so we don't have his death. So we've got to do tarot, yeah? Have we got to do tarot or have we got to do the wheel? Hey, she biatch, let's dance. <laughs> Right, March 4th. March 4th, he's a Taurus. No, he's not. He's not a Pisces. He's an Aquarius. No, he's not. He's a Pisces. Okay. So, Pisces is the fish. Is that the fish sign? Pisces. Yes. So, the fish sign is that. Tarot is... A good first one. Okay. We'll do the tarot first. Right, so we'll put him there. Give them a shuffle. And take a card. Judgment. The world, the emperor, justice. So this card, the high priestess, the murderer has an accomplice. 
Right. So the murderer has an accomplice. Don't worry, CRL, I still am. The murderer has an accomplice. The murderer has an accomplice. Right. Yes, I love you again. Right, so that's 1904. Um, so the red, uh, um, <laughs> Pisces is water. So the last letter of the first name, which is a Y, which is one. So the red one turns to one. The blue one, um, Pisces purple, if the sin, no. Oh, you're upstairs again, for fuck's sake. I'm gonna die again. Cover up, bitch. <laughs> right. If the surname has identical letters, then the key letter of the surname is the last one. If not, then it's the first one. No, it doesn't. So it's the first letter, which is H, which is five. So blue all the way down to five. And it was daytime, so it was two o'clock on the third. of the ninth. Right. So it's two three nine two three nine two three nine two three nine fuck off two three nine two hang on the month is nine. Nineteen o four, which is that. Put his card there, which is fine. Come on then. Right, so you died there. So we need Ryan Turner. Where were you? You were nowhere near. Max. You were nowhere near. Sebastian. Ooh, Sebastian was there. Elliot. Of course, Elliot was there. Alexandra. Alexandra, where were you? There. Right. So it's between Sebastian and Elliot. So it's Sebastian and Elliot because the murderer has an accomplice. Okay. Send where they're hiding now. So 22. 30th of November. Check the send sheet, see if you can send two dossiers. No. 
pick on it. You cannot. <laughs> now I have to check where they are. Yes? So where they are now. So Elliot was there. Where was Elliot now? There. Sebastian, where are you now? Sebastian's dead. So it was Elliot then. Because Sebastian's dead. Fucking go! Holy fucking shit balls, Batman. <laughs> it turned out that we are dealing with two murderers. Uh, two murders. This morning, Edwards tried to hang himself in his cell. He said that he planned to share the loot with Bulk. Bulk? Bulk? But the devil convinced him to keep everything for himself. We were right. It was this voice again. If people who've fallen under the influence of the voice are not connected in any way, they have only two things in common. First, they all live in our town. And second, this voice compels them to commit murders. Whoever that voice is, it wants to drown our city in blood. Maybe our grandma was trying to stop it. Okay. <sighs> CRL, why do you have to fucking give me all the difficult games? Holy shit. House fire. I decided to leave this whole problem with the voice for a while and focus on finding the killer of our old woman. This may help us to find out what is happening with the town in the long run. One of the suspects is Henry Saunders, a very hot-tempered young man. He worked at his father's shop and often delivered groceries to our old woman. In July of 1904, a fire broke out at his home on Durham Road. You picked it. Yeah, but you've recommended it. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> um, on July 1904, a fire broke out at his home on Durham Road Number 2 and only one body was found inside. He was heavily burned. It was heavily burned, but we recognised it as Henry's wife by her jewellery. Saunders himself is, a myster is mysteriously missing. I suppose... He could rob an old woman and set this set his house on fire to fake his death and quietly leave the town to confirm this. I need to know what exactly happened during the fire. Send the survivor's dossier, send the location of the survivor during the fire and mark where he is now. Okay. So back to tarot cards again. CRL likes watching the stream wa the steam waft from your ears probably which is fucking savage hey Lisa 
How are you doing? The devil. Justice. Right, so last card. The world. The world, the world, the world, the world. The person is still alive. Right. Do we do Henry's as well? Why the fuck not? Justice. No. The lovers. The killer is a spouse or a lover? The killer is a spouse or a lover. Right. Okay. So we'll light another incense because it always goes out. I'm, I'm doing all right, Lisa. I'm doing okay. So now we've got to go to the wheel, yes? CRL? So we'll put the victim's thing here. Oh no, we've got the date of the death. The location of the survivor during the fire. Well, he's still alive. Fuck off, Grandma. For Henry. Okay. So February 2nd. February 2nd. He is an Aquarius. Which is a water sign. So Aquarius. The, the, the squiggly lines. Okay. The squiggly lines. First name. Henry. Squiggly lines. Shit! A fucking run, bitch. Oh, wait, maybe enter the date. Give in the dossier. What for this? For the wheel? Well, Sophia's the one that's dead. Send in the survivor's dossier, which is Henry. Send the location of the survivor during the fire. So the day she died was... July 22nd but what time the map go to the map go to the map say we don't have a time though We've got a date, but we don't know when she died. The tarot says she's alive and Henry is dead. No, because they found... I thought they found Henry's wife and she was dead. I'm so confused. <laughs> so Sophia survived and Henry died? 
but she's the victim and she died and Henry is the suspect We need to find out what time she died, so we need to go to the wheel room. April 1st. Aries. What's Aries? Aries is the funny t shirt. That one. They thought it was Sophia, but she actually pulled a switcheroo. So Sophia killed Henry. And switched the body. So they thought it was her. So do the wheel for Henry then. By 22 hour, 12, 1, 19, or 4 at the map. Okay. We'll try that. So whose card do we put up there? His or hers? So she's there. Shit. Cover it. Cover it. I'm not even looking. Right, Henry. Where's Henry? So they're both still alive then. So she isn't dead if it's after the date of death. My head's just melted down. You can switch the dossiers. Yeah, so Sophia is still at the house. And Henry is also still at the house on the date that you gave us. Switch Sophie at the suspect. 
and Henry the victim. How do you do that? Ah, okay. I didn't know you could do that, you see. So Henry's the victim and she was the suspect. I don't like it when CRL fucking puts everything in capital letters because I know that she's shouting at us. Now check where Sophia is with the date given in the dossier and mark it. So the date of her of like the supposed death or the December one. December first. December first, Sophia, where are you? Sophia? So Sophia's there. Just make sure you see it. I know. I know. It just... I know that when you do that shit, it's because, like, someone's fucked up. <laughs> right, so yeah. So Sophia's the one that's alive and it's Henry that's dead. So send the survivor's dossier. So I've got to send Sophia's. Send the location of the survivor during the fire. So on the 22nd of the 7th, twenty second of the 7th, what was the time for her? Yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> right, so you turn in Sophia. As the dossier, yep. Then do you send the person who's still alive and where they are now? I sent the wrong thing. <laughs> oh. Well, it's definitely, at least we know that it's definitely Sophia. But it's definitely Sophia. The bottom one was right of where she is now. Send the location of the survivor during the fire. Right, that's the one I didn't do. Right. So back up to the tower. We'll start all the way from the beginning. I know I hate the delays as well. Give them a shuffle. So justice, world, person is still alive. So then put these cards away. Change that to Henry. Shuffle. 
Justice, and this one was the Lovers, which is the killer is a spouse or lover, which is that one. Right. Fuck off, Grandma. Back downstairs. <coughs> Redo this for the telephone number now. So it'll be Sophia Dossier, 7 o'clock, July. Right, okay. So for this one, we'll put so so the la la Sophia's will change her to the suspect and put him as the victim. And we change this to seven. Seven twenty two. What? Right, so try the twenty two. Twenty two twelve. Twenty two twelve or one nineteen or four. Shut up, trying to fucking do shit. Right, where are you? You're down here. Right. Henry is dead. I wish you could mark it. Right, so where is she now? So, 12th December 1st, 1904, right. So send Sophia's dossier So Sophia The December date is where she is now Right, so send the location of the survivor during the fire The location of the survivor during the fire and the fire shit, the fire took place twenty second of July. Twenty second of July. Yeah. Uh July is seven. Twenty second. Twenty second of July, nineteen o four. Oh, but we need the time, don't we? We're gonna have to do the wheel. So April, April the. First, so Aries. Aries is the funny T shape, which is that. Um, Aries is the fire sign, the first letter of the name, which is S, which is three. So red would be three. And blue, if the surname has identical letters, then the key. 
letter of the surname is the first one and they're not identical called Sophia Saunders. Oh, the fucking fire's going out. <laughs> Fuck off with you crying, bitch. No one cares. <laughs> Right, so what would we do for a name? Cause if the surname has identical letters, then the key letter of the surname is the first one. If not, it's the last one. Well, they're both S's, so it wouldn't matter, would it? So three. Shit. Is that right? First letter of the name, Sophia S. Yeah. So it's eight o'clock at night, so it would be 20. Shit. was fucking close. No identical letter, so it's the last one. So it would be an S. Right, as long as I'm, I'm doing it right, that's fine. So 8, 30. On the 9th. No? date of the fire, just not the time. Right, so the date of the fire was the 22nd of July. I don't know which one you want to see. <laughs> her birthday is April, so what does that make her? April 1st is an Aries. Which is the, the funny squiggly line. The T. Which is that. And then a first name, the husband's dossier, February 2nd, which makes him an Aquarius, which is the squiggly line. So we'll do the husband's one. So squiggly line, Aries, the third letter in the name, if it's got less than three letters, well it doesn't, so N. N, which is five. Do the fucking fire again, because it's running out. Come on, we can do this. We can get this one. We can do it. Shut up, bitch. 
Um, Aries. Oh, fuck off. Oh, that's upstairs. Don't die now, man. Ooh. Don't die now, for fuck's sake. Right, so he's an Aries. So his name is Henry, which is N, which is five, which is the red one. Right, the blue one, if there are more than five letters in the surname, then it's the fifth one. If not, it's the last one. More than five letters in the surname, then the key is it's the fifth one. One, two, three, four, five. So it's D, which is four. So blue would be four. So that, that lines up better. So seven, seven in the day. So seven in the day. So it was seven o'clock in the morning. On this one, July 22nd, 1904. Which is that. Right, so where are where is he now? We need to put hers on. So she's there. And Henry in the fire. Was there. So Send the location of the survivor during the fire. So if we go back to this now. So it's Sophia. Because she's now surviving, not dead. The location of the survivor during the fire was there. And mark where he is now. What did we put for the last one again? That one. Yes. Yes! <laughs> we did it! Oh. CRL. Honest. So it it was a Mr. Saunders who died and not Mrs. Saunders. We found her at the parents' house. Poor girl bust into tears as soon as she saw the officers. Sorry for the late reply. I'm okay. It was just making thumbnails. No problem, mad killer. Don't worry about it. Good work, CRL and Adam. Thank you very much. If it weren't for you, I would have been in the shit. <laughs> um, she told me that the voice of the saint had ordered her to punish her cruel husband. The amazing thing is that she is sure that the voice was a woman's. Henry Saunders can't be our murderer, but we'll keep digging. Let's try and find out which of the possible suspects recently got rich. Okay. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh, holy fucking shit. My head's like melting. Literally melting. Our next suspect, Mrs. Danton. Is an old lady and a long time acquaintance of our grandmother. In October 1904, Miss Danton announced that she had won a cheque for $40,000 and a week later her four grandchildren and sole heirs came to visit the lonely old lady for the first time in 15 years. Money grabbing bastards. A funny coincidence, another surprising coincidence was that soon Miss Danton died peacefully at her home. Two seconds.
just had to ask Jackson to put some more water in the slow cooker for me tea. So Miss Danton died peacefully at her home, determined which of them could, could have killed her. Until then, I will check whether she really won the money or she just visited our old woman. I wish I did have this, Adam. Honest, if it weren't for you, I'd be shit. Send the killer's dossier. Send the results of the victim's reading of the tarot card. Send the result of the killer's reading of the ruins. We've got to do ruins now. As well as the mirrors and everything else. Right, well, we'll do the tarot first. So we need to send the result of the victim's tarot. So we'll put her in. Justice. The magician. Killer used the false identity. Use the ruins. False identity. Right, so it's this door. Oh, fuck me, man. Now, the suspect dossier. Right, so she can't be there then if she's the victim. Make sure that the ritual candle is lit. Throw the runes on the table from the bowl. Can you feel the aneurysm forming? I can. So it was two R's. Journey relocation. Person has found a new home. <laughs> that one. So we'll do Dorothy. Hey, files. And n and a p i think that is yep what have you got to do it like that Ah, you must have to. So P. So P is... That one. One jo Joy, a new lover. Joy, a new lover. That one. So we'll do Taylor. Fuck off. N Hagalaz uh, Person has lost a lot of money Put Andrew Dalton on there and then we will go and relight the fucking flame Oh mate fuck off man Where is it? Oh, is it downstairs? I'm gonna die. Fuck off, Grandma.
Do you know who it is? No. I don't know who it is. Uh, ruins, 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 ruins. This way. Right, we were doing Andrews. Put them back in. You know me as another name on Twitch. Oh, hi, Biggie! <laughs> uh, Tewaz, Tewaz, Tewaz. The god of Tyre. Person hides or change their name. <gasps> right, so... So what are we saying? Do we think it's Dalton? I think it's Andrew Dalton. And I'm going to put that it's Andrew Dalton. Uh, the result of the victim's tarot reading, which is that one, and then that one. Yes, pure guesswork. Let's go. It seems that our preacher not only decided to play the role of the grandson, but also to speed up the process of obtaining an inheritance. I think it's Doodle that did it. I didn't do shit. No proof. Nope, I wasn't even born in 1904, so Biero might have been. Could have been him. It was Biero that did it. They got confirmation from the organisers of the lottery, so his grandmother was really that lucky. Well, more or less. And our grandma, as it turned out, remained poor until her death. She spent all her money she earned on books, cards and other fortune-telling tools. They are worthless to anyone but you. Say you don't need us. I fucking do. I have only one remaining suspect. Judge Brooks. He released several of the criminals that were found by our old by our old woman. And she is in turn and she in turn helped to lock several of his wealthy but dubious sponsors. They hated each other. Brooks retired several years ago and was happily forgotten by everyone. I will now try and find out what he is doing now. Hashtag Beardo's fault. I want to see this chat full of hashtag Beardo's fault. Because it is Beardo's fault. It is all Beardo's fault. It is always Biero's fault. <laughs> Come on. I want to see hashtag Biero's fault of everyone that's in here. snitching <laughs> thank you and I'm going to put it in myself hashtag be at all's fault thank you Jolene thank you Scottish thank you Adam thank you Lisa CRL Biggie handsome Andrew beautiful fucking gorgeous husband thank you Mark Bowles fucking hashtag be at all's fault it's always his fault Oh, itchy head. 
Right. Murder at a masquerade. He hasn't even had to defend himself. Tough shit. Hey, Chris Williams. Thank you for the hashtag Beardo's fault. It is all always Beardo's fault. I don't care if he's not here to defend himself. He was. He's. I don't know where he is now. Uh, no, actually, Biggie, it's not Doodle's fault. And I did notice. Why not Beardo is always blaming Purple? What's good for... <laughs> yep, exactly. It's not Purple's fault. It's hashtag Beardo's fault. Exactly. Right. Next one. Fuck a doodle do. Oh, I'm so looking forward to me tea now. This fucking game has got me worked the fuck up. Never Doodle's fault. Thank you, Adam. Right, our investigation has reached a dead end. I don't know what to do anymore. I bought. I thought Judge Brooks just moved out of town, but it turns out he died two years ago. In 1902, Judge Brooks was considered a significant figure who made this city what it looks like today, for better or worse. It was sad that he was going to run... It was said that he was going to run for, for mayor, his murder is still con his murder is still continues to worry several influential people. Okay. Um, this people were with him at the time of the murder. They saw the woman who killed him. Sorry, but having a moment got all clear with blood tests. So finally, ha get to have an Easter egg that was born. <gasps> Yay! That's amazing news, Biggie. You fucking enjoy that fucking Easter egg. And fucking devour it. I hope you stuff your face with it and I hope you fucking love every second of it. Um, Where was I? They saw the woman who killed him. The problem is the murder took place during a costume party at his home in Durham Road, number five. We sifted out all the guests and servants who had an alibi. You will receive files of others. Maybe if we solve his murder, we will have new evidence on our old woman's case. I know that the chance is small, but I have no more ideas left. Send the killer's dossier. Mark and send where the killer was at the hour of the crime. Send the killer's distinctive feature by performing the dowsing rods on the victim. And send the killer's secret by performing a rune reading. Right, okay. So this is a lot of fucking shit to unpack. <sighs> so. <clears throat> Mark and send where the killer was at the hour of the crime. So we don't know what time he died. So we need to do the tarot, the wheel, the runes. And the street map thing. Right. Okay. So we need to do send the killer secret by performing a rune reading on him. On the on the killer. Getting the time of the crime. So that would be the wheel, yeah? Right, so we need the wheel. All the way downstairs. Um, so we select the kit, the victim. So we put the victims in there. August 14th. August 14th. August 14th. So he's a Leo. A Leo. Which is the circle with the line. Okay. So he's a Leo. Um, which is a fire sign. The first letter of the name. Frederick. Which is F. Which makes it 8. 
So the red one is eight. The blue one, if the surname has identical letters, then the key letter of the surname is the first one. If not, it's the last one. It doesn't have identical letters. So it's the last one, which is S, which is three. August 21st. So that's wrong then, because the month says two. Or is that right? August 21st, 1902. I've got 21st, but I don't have the month right. Fuck off. I don't understand it either, Chris. I just know that I'm a Pisces. So the first letter of the name, which is F, which is eight, which is what that's on. The blue one is the surname doesn't have identical letters so it's the last letter fuck his last name's Brooks so it would be S So it says here for Leo, if the surname has identical letters, then the key let. So would it be B? Would that change it any? That's August. August 21st right okay I changed it I changed it so it was seven o'clock at night on the 21st of the 8th of the 8th 1902 Right, 1921 8. Okay, hang on, hang on. So we found the time of when he died. Mark and send where the killer was at the hour of the crime. So now we go to the map. Go to the map, the Dowson Rod map. So we put Frederick in, so it was 17, no it wasn't, it was 19, 19, 8, 21, or 2. 19, 8, 21, or 2. Yes. Right, so you were killed 
Where's the two you are killed again? We'll just mark it, see if I can fucking do it the old way. It was Durham Road, wasn't it? There. So, the next one. Where were you at the time of the murder? You were at number five. Where were you, Edward? You were number five. Christopher, you were in number five. Dawn. John, where were you, John? Shit. Shut up, bitch. You were there. Uh, Molly, where were you? You were at number five. Kayla. You were there. Azaria, if that's how you say your name, Azaria. You were there. Eh, that only does that if you've done something wrong. So not John. Not Kayla. <laughs> Fuck off, bitch. It normally only makes that noise if that's wrong. I'm confused. So she's supposed to be out of town, okay, instead. At the hour of the crime. Um, one, two, three, four. Four of them. So I'm going to take you off because you weren't there. You off because you weren't there. So there's... Four, vic four potential suspects. So now I use the dows and rods in this room. And see what comes up. Is it upstairs? Upstairs. Oh, it's so blue. Okay. So the Dowson Rod room was blue. <laughs> Fucking bitch! So it was a blue toy that the murderer's eyes were blue. So I guess I'll look at these. Molly, green, so it's not you. We can get rid of you. John, I colour black. Okay, so it's not John. Uh, Christopher has got blue eyes. Edward, Edward's got blue eyes. Joshua, Joshua's got brown eyes, so it's not Joshua. So it's either Edward or Riley. So 
So we've got to do the rune reading on him. Okay. Right, back to the rune room. I'll relight another fucking incense. So it doesn't go out, if I can remember how to get there. Shut up. Bitch. So go to the rune room and find out the killer's secret. Right. So put the suspect dossier. So who did we say it was? It was either Edward or Christopher. So we do Christopher first. Right, so you put them two back in. And that gave us a weird M shape. Manners. Person, person hides or changed the gender. Okay. So we'll take you out and put Edward in. That's the weird fucking sun shape. Parizas. 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 I don't even know if I'm saying these right. Uh, giant new post. The target has lost, found a new job. Hey, Oa. Person hides or change their gender? It's got to be Christopher then, yeah? It's got to be. So if we say it's Christopher, he was in the place, the hour of the crime, send the killer's distinct feature by performing the thousand rods. Thousand rods was blue eyes, change gender. Is that right? <laughs> Fuck it. Yes! We can do it! Let's go! <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. Right. This young reporter sacrificed his morality and went for murder to help the town. He pretended to be someone else to commit the murder and this gave me an idea. There was something missing in the death of our old woman. She had no death. She had no enemies left who wanted her death. The only few people she spoke to before the murder have alibis. It checked everyone, even you, except one. I used to think she was killed in the in her sleep. Perpendicular wounds, strength that decreased with every blow was suggesting that. But there is another option. The S word. She unalived. She staged a robbery, then put a knife to her chest and began stabbing herself as long as she could. She did everything to make her death look like the murder of our, the murder of our parents so that we can start an investigation so you can take her place. All of this is part of her plan and I'm afraid that soon we will find out exactly what she's up to next. Holy fuck, man. This is day 11.
I am so fucking hungry. <laughs> Just putting it out there. I'm starving. Ugh. Shot next door. I'll let you read that while I drink. Oh. Tunnel. What does the tunnel have to do with this, with this madness? I'm sorry, but right now I can't discuss your nightmares. I couldn't get enough sleep myself. I saw how my boss died yesterday. I stood and a step away from him there was a loud clap and a bullet pierced his chest an eerie sight to behold what what's worse is that we were in our department so location judging by the tra 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 <laughs> judging by the trajectory what the shot was fired from the roof of one of the neighboring buildings to complicate matters further the boss announced the upcoming layoffs last month we suspect it could have been one of us can you feel your belly button rubbing on your spine honest me belly button is like dying even that's hanging on by a thread i'm fucking empty so send the killer's dossier as usual Mark and send where the killer was at the hour of the crime. He couldn't be near the target, but across the road from the target. Send the killer's distinctive feature by performing thousand rods on the victim. Excuse me, chat. Send the relation to the killer by performing tarot readings. Right. So we need to figure out the hour. Then do the tarot card. Right, we'll do the hour first, so we'll do the, the wheel thing. Wheel thing, wheel thing. So we'll put the victim there. November 20th. November 20th Scorpio which is the M so that goes there Scorpio is a purple so the last letter of the first name which is S which is 3 so red 3 Blue. Surname has identical letters. It's Brooks. No, it's not. It's Darville. It's the first one. So D, which is four. Right, does that match up? The 30th of the 11th. No. That does not match up, so that's wrong. Why did I say he was again Scorpio? The last letter of the first name, which is S. Oh yeah, Darville. Okay, it's got two letters in. Um, so it's the last one, which is E, which is five. Fuck off. But then that still doesn't add up. Sixth of the fifth.
Have I done this wrong? You're upstairs. Fuck! No! Go away. Spooky bitch! He has two O's in his first name. Yeah, but the first name, it says... Scorpio. It says that it's the last letter of the name. Because the red one... It's for his first name. So it would be the last letter of his first name. Which is S. Which is three. Which is there. Oh, my flame's going out. Hang on. No, it is. I'm such a fucking idiot. I've been looking at the death instead of his birth. <laughs> <laughs> so June 1st. So he's a Gemini. What a dick. Gemini is the H up there. So Gemini is there. Yes. Gemini. Gemini, yes. So A, the third letter of the name. Less, it doesn't have less than three, so it's the third, so it's O. O is seven. Fucking go down. So seven. More than five letters in the surname than. The key letter of the surname is the fifth one, if not, it's the last one. So it's I, which is one. So blue goes to one. Twentieth of the eleventh. Yes, we did it. So it's 10 o'clock in the morning on the 20th of the 11th. Shit! You're upstairs again. I'm gonna die! <laughs> Fucking bitch! What a bitch. I was looking at his date of death, not his date of birth. What a fucking idiot. Right, so. He was a Gemini, which was that. Um, Gemini is A, the third letter of the first name. Or the first if the name has less than three letters. Right, so. The third letter of the name. Which is O, which is seven. So red, seven. Blue was I, which was one. 
and it was 10 o'clock on the 20th of the 11th and the year was 1904 right mark and send where the killer was at the hour of the crime so we've done the wheel hour on circle taro then map then ruins if need be so we'll do taro now And the relation to the killer by performing the tarot. You're going to put the victim's dossier on there. Give them a shuffle. Pull a card out. The emperor. Justice. So this card. The chariot. The killer is a colleague. The killer is a colleague. Right, okay. So, hour on the circle, tarot, map then runes, map then runes. So if we do the map now. So it was 10 o'clock, so 10. Month was November, so 11. That was 20. 1904. Right. So you died there. And we need a colleague. Suspicious. Where were you? You were at work. Patrick, where were you? Shit. No, where's the mirror? Downstairs. I'm going to die again. didn't need to do that man, I needed to be downstairs didn't I? Kill I was on a neighbouring roof. Where were you? You were there? Okay, where were you George? You were there as well. Right. Douse and rods on the victim. Douse and rods on the victim. Okay. Douse and rods on the victim. Upstairs. Thousand rods on the victim. Up the stairs. Not in here. It's not in the bathroom. So is it downstairs then? So it's the bed. Okay. Mm. 
murderer is 29 years old or younger. 29 years old or younger. Right, okay. So we need to go back to... Where am I going? Where am I going? Put another one of these up. Fuck off, Grandma! Right. Twenty nine years old or younger. He's twenty six. He's fifty six. He's twenty four. And he's twenty seven. So it's not Jordan. So we can get rid of him. So I'll compare those to those who were near the location but not on it. Right, okay. So Samson, you were at number four. Which is no good because that's where he died. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, it's not Jordan. Patrick, where were you? You were there. Shut up, bitch. So Patrick was opposite. George. George was opposite. So which one was at work again? Was it Samson? Samson was at work. Yes. Samson was at work so we can get rid of him. So it wasn't him. So it was either Patrick or George. So if we read Patrick's, uh, he got fired a month ago, but he was a colleague. So is it George? A recent hire, a strange fellow. So he's currently a fucking a colleague. So it's him. So it's George. Mark and send where the killer was at the at time of the crime. He was there. Send the killer's distinctive feature by performing the Dowson rods. Uh, his feature was that. Send the relation to the killer by performing the tarot. The tarot was that. Yes! We don't need no runes! Fuck the runes. <laughs> oh, holy fucking shit balls, man. This is not over yet. See, I really don't half fucking pick the good ones, like. This game's unreal. We found a makeshift altar in his house with two photographs on it. Our photos. Cook didn't want to kill the captain. He aimed at me, my colleague, a policeman tried to kill me and you should be next i don't know what is threatening this town but now it's gunning for us i i need a drink you ain't the only one that need a fucking drink love is that it am i done Have I completed it, mate? <laughs> Granny? I think so. <laughs> Granny! Not quite. Oh, fuck off. Oh. So where do I go from now then? Oh fuck off! I've got to go to the cellar! I don't want to go down there! Ah. 
two more deers, Doodle. <laughs> Oh. I can't do this game. This game is too hard. I can't do it. My head is mashed. The runaway. Are you okay? To see your body at one's own doorstep, it must be shocking. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to establish dead girl's identity, but so far unsuccessful. I'll tell you right away your alibi was confirmed. You're in the clear. This cook that we arrested escaped yesterday. I'm sure that it was he or his accomplice. Ugh. The one who helped him escape. They wanted to intimidate you, but they don't know yet that we will not stop. You must find them before they get to us. The escape took place at 2pm in the stables at 17 Pinar Street. The prison escort the prison escort was killed by Cook's accomplice. The girl whose body lay at your doorstep was killed on the same day at 11pm. Let's find those bastards. Send where escape George Cook is now. Send the dossier of the killer who helped Cook escape. Send the dowsing trait. Send the second dowsing trait. And send Elliot tarot reading as well. Any ideas where we start with this one? Because <laughs> I haven't got a clue. Send where George Cook is now. But what year is it? We don't know. Go for tarot first. Okay. Have you already guessed who helped me escape? No. The bullet flew right next to me, two feet close, and I would be dead. I still can't believe it. Will I be that lucky next time? I'm not sure. I thought about it for a long time and decided to write you a letter just in case. I can see how this house is pulling the soul out of you. Every day you're digging through dirt, death and madness. This leads to gloomy thoughts, deprives you of hope. But I met people who survive only thanks to you. You are not suffering in vain. Remember, you are my best friend. You are all I've got left. I'm proud of you. Sincerely, your brother. Call Paw, call Paw Patrol. If I thought Paw Patrol would help, I would. At the beginning would be a good place. Yeah, 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 I know. We have the date and time of the death on Sam's dossier. Right, okay. So we'll do Sam. So we do tarot card for Sam, yeah? He is locked away beyond the edge of nothingness. Our saviour is waiting. Okay, mate. Devil. Stop giving us devil cards. The fuck? 
Wheel of Fortune. Justice. Right, what's this card? The Emperor. The killer is a man. Emperor. The killer is a man. Yes. Right. So we'll put yours on. Justice. The high priestess. The murderer is an has an accomplice. Right. The murderer has a an accomplice. <laughs> Shut up, man. This is my welcoming gift. Oh, thanks for the blood. Right, so we've got the date and time of the death. So we can go to the scry in this one, this room. On Sam's. Change that to 14 and it's December so it'll be the 12th for 1904 right he sheltered the lost let him in bring them back what Right, so the cook guy is on this at 17 Pinna Street, which is where Sam Elliott died. No, the date where we're meant to find where Cook went. So change that to 20. Breathe. <laughs> Breathe, Nana. 5th of December. Where is Cook now? Right. Cook's there. Send the dossier of the killer who helped Cook escape. So we know that it's an accomplice. So we need to find out who the other killer is. That's upstairs. Right, up the stairs we go. Okay. 
he will give us a turning. He won't, you know. So is it the towel? Or is it the bed? Or is it the clothing? The clothing. So it's black. Okay. Back downstairs. To the Dowson room. This way. So with this, it was bl black clothing. The colour of the hair. So the hair colour is black. Now we'll do hers. The chalice lies underground. So it's the teddy bear. Right, okay. I'll go put another one of these on. Fuck off, Nana. No one likes you anyway. Right, so... Oh, where the fuck, man? That's the math room. This one. So it was a black stuffed toy. The murderer's eyes were black. Right. So we know it's a man. So it's not Danielle. We've got to have black hair, no black eyes and black hair. So it's him. No, because Ben has that hair. Well, we're just going to guess. We're going to be sneaky and we're going to guess. King of Mirrors is waiting. Fuck off. King of Mirrors. Right, so send where George Cook is now. He is try the map and see where the option. Fuck off! Fifth of December. It's like Shazza against an army of gingers. It is, isn't it? Fucking sick of them, man. Right. So we'll change yours for Ben. Where's Ben? Ben's there. Where's Patrick? Patrick's there. Flesh. 
There's a spawn hill. Patrick is where George is. Ah, right. Right, okay. So it's Patrick. Fuck off, Grandma, bitch. So it's Patrick. Send where George is. George Cook is now. So George Cook on the 5th of December. That one. It was the 5th, wasn't it? That's what we had to do. 5th of December. Right, so Patrick. And it was the 5th of December. The dossier of the killer who helped Cook escape. Funny, don't look like Sam, Sam Elliott. Even the must, even a moustache to show for. Not even a moustache to show for. Right, so if George was the 5th. Send the Dowson trait. The Dowson trait was... Black hair, black eyes, and send Elliot's tarot reading. Yes! I'm sorry, but your brother can't answer you anymore. I've already visited him. Don't get upset. I can be your new friend. I found us. You found us both. I am impressed. You are truly the, the one who can hear the departed. You have a lot to learn and to do. But first, I prepared a gift for you. Now, please, close your eyes. I'm not closing my fucking eyes. You can piss off. I don't know what you're going to do to us. Ah! He killed me. It killed me with the death breath. Okay, run towards the mirror. Forgive me my sin. Hi, Grandma. He forced me. Okay. He didn't, but okay. We've been tainted by his thoughts. Okay. Next mirror. Please. Granny was working with a demon. Don't bring us back. Okay. I won't. I won't bring you back. It's fine. This one. Get twin paranormal on the case. Don't let him in. Okay. Granny is the demon. Question mark? He is coming. What if we're the demon? Ooh. What if we're the demon? First death. Call the Warrens. That's it. Get the Warrens in. Come on. We've got to get the Warrens in. There's demons everywhere.
And here is my gift. We've prepared a new case for you. Thanks for the gift. A young family, an immigrant, his wife and two sons. One night a murder, murderer sneaks into the house and leaves their sons without parents. Familiar? That moment changed your life. So who is to blame? Find out who killed your parents. Find the clue by using the tarot cards. Find a clue by contacting your mother with the dousing rods. What the fuck? Find a clue by contacting your father with the dousing rods. Mark and send where the killer was at the hour of the crime. The tarot cards. Beardo's a demonologist now to send it over to him. Beardo wouldn't be able to solve this. Are you mad? Right. Tarot card. Mrs. Ruby. The sun. Justice. The fool. The fool. The cards are silent. The bond is unknown. Uh, the card is silent. The killer is unknown. Do we have a killer is unknown? Hey, Kim Pias. How are you doing? Let's have a little look at your card, shall we? Justice. For Gotham! The Empress. The Empress. The killer is a woman. Oh. Right, so the killer is a woman. So it's between Joan and Annabelle. Annabelle di died and Joan's died. You reckon Granny's the killer? So now mother with the dowsing rods. What on this? Okay. Old home. Outside. Dead. So who was your mother? Was it Ruby? Mrs. Fulton was your neighbour. All this running around, great cardio. <laughs> but is is that that can't be me, mum? Surely. Ruby's me, mum. Holy fuck! Right. Are you going to be upstairs? Yes, you're going to be upstairs. Shit. So it's a clock. 
Is it the clock? Yes. So go back downstairs into the Dowson room and a clock. The murderer is 30 years old or older. Right. I need to light the fire again. Hang on. This way. Right. So 30 years old or older and it's a woman. It's Nana hit her in the Jabberwocky and run. <laughs> Mark and send where the killer was at the hour of the crime. Do we have an hour? No. So we've got to use the fucking the wheel to get the hour. June 6th. June 6th, Gemini, which is the two H's. Um, Gemini is A, the third letter of the name or the first, less than three letters, it doesn't, it has four. Third letter, which is a B, which is two, so red would be two, I hope. And, Anderson, if there are more than five letters, in the surname, then this, the key is the fifth one. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's R, which is two. So that says it was the 1st of December when she died. That's right. So 11 o'clock at night on the 1st of December nine eighteen ninety one eighteen ninety one right they died at the same time so you should see the same answer okay we'll double check we don't have his date of birth so we can't check So, over here to the, the compass room, which we can't do. Shit! So it was 11. Eleven, twelve, one, eighteen, ninety-one. So they should, in theory, have the same time. Check the women and see what their ages are. The only women that we have, they're both really old and they're both dead. 60 and 62. Find a clue by contacting your father with the Dowson rugs. So, in here.
green toy, which is the colour of the murderer's eyes. have 23 on the 11 not 23 for the hour i thought it was at night time because there was a moon on the thing where am i going i need to go back to the wheel i'm sure there was a moon on it the only reason why i put it hey dean yeah, there's a moon, look. That's why I put 23. Because you've got to add 12 hours. That's not my favourite paranormal device, Dean. You're wrong. Check the women. Check where Granny was on the map. Check where Granny was. Fuck. Cover, thank you. But you put eleven. Did I? I fucking did. Good spot. Ruby. She was at the old house, so that's right. Dad was home. Grandma. Was home. I don't know who Annabelle is. Annabelle was outside. What's Joan? Does Joan have green eyes? Joan's got green eyes. So does she. Ronnie did it. Okay. I'll mark that in the book. Hopefully we'll get this right. She was at the house the day of the murder. Yeah. So it was Joan. Uh, find a clue using the tarot cards. The tarot cards was the killer as a woman. Find a clue by contacting your mother with the thousand rods. That one, that one, and that one. Yes, let go. I can't trust any fucking old person at all. Mm -mm. Now you know all of it. We didn't destroy our family, she did it. Your grandmother couldn't find the strength to go against him. She needed a successor, one who is connected with death since childhood, but has been able to act on his own. She has been manipulating you since you were a kid, but we are not like that. The king gives, gives us a choice. It's not an order, but an opportunity to bring your family back. Do you want that? Then go downstairs. So I've got to go downstairs. I don't want to bring them back. The, the mirror said don't bring us back. So I'm not going to. I don't want to bring them back. I want to leave. Do I go down?
You'll no longer be alone. That sounds like a threat. Let your family in. Smash the mirrors. I don't want to smash the mirrors. Oh fuck. Dad. Dunno. Mom. Grandma. Grandma can fuck off. So, what do I do? Anna, you did Scottish. Anna, I should have just fucking smashed the mirror then. You would think it was bad luck, Dean, but apparently I have to smash one. So have I got to smash a mirror? Smash the granny. Uh, I'm not a, a granny basher. I thought we had to smash the parents. Right, let me mum out. Let me brother out. Let me dad out. And drown this bitch. Was that the wrong choice? Have I got to do all that again? Have I really got to do all that again? Oh! Thank fuck for that! Fuck me! What a fucking game. No, you made your choice. Whew. Hey, that was fucking hellish. It was. That was a fucking good game, that. Hang on. It's still, it's still playing stuff. I just don't want to get copyright strike claimed. We'll just turn it down a bit. You can't hear it much. That was, that was a good fucking game. Even the ending song was creepy as fuck. I love it. That was hellish. That was really good. I mean, it took us nearly five hours to do it, like. But, fuck me. <laughs> If we can find more games like that to do, I'll do more of them because that was good. Oh man. Right. It is now five to seven. Uh, thank you, CRL. Thank you, Fab.
Thanks, Adam and Kim. That was just the tutorial. Now the real game. Imagine. <gasps> oh, no, I did the tutorial at the beginning. We'll watch it back. We're stuck in work. Oh, thank you, Dean. That was, that was hellish. Isn't Beardo chatting with the weirdos tonight? Seven o'clock? I'm sure it's seven tonight. And you never shit yourself like Beardo would. I did, I, I did. I shit myself a few times. There was a few jump scares in there that got us. There was a few. And me fucking heart rate monitor on me, for, on me watch still works. So I can still keep that on games. So when I do Phasmo and stuff and other games that absolutely terrify us. He should be going live soon. Right. Okie doke. Well, Beardo's live in five minutes. I've got to go downstairs and make fucking chicken casserole yet. It's been the slow cooker since fucking yesterday. The chicken's kind of fall apart. But thank you, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being here because that was crazy. That was crazy. But if you can, go over to Beardo Get Scared. I'll get his link for you so you all know, like, you know, where to go and shit. Because I'm good like that. Obviously, there's no way to go, so I shouldn't have to do this because it's Biero. And if you aren't watching Biero already, you should be. There you go. He's just going live now. Head over to his link. Go and see Biero. I can't pin it in OBS for some reason. It just doesn't let you. But... I shall speak to you all on the next stream, which should be Monday or Tuesday, and we'll do it. We'll do another horror game. I'm liking the horrors over here. Right. Until then, guys, I shall love your faces. I shall speak to you later. Mwah. Enjoy your evening. Have a fucking killer weekend, and I'll see you next week.